what do you guys know about fucking cheese fraud? Cheese fraud. Let's all say it. Good. Cheese fraud. <laughs> what do you guys know? So it's like saying, oh, this is Parmigiano Reggiano, but in reality it's just Parmigiano. That's exactly oh! right. Because you can fucking bullshit anybody about cheese. Because it's like certain cheese is like more expensive than others. Right? Parmigiano Reggiano is like the fucking one, right? That's it's the, the smelly one. That's the, the most expensive one. The wheel one? The wheel one. What's your favorite cheese? Ooh, Havarti. What is it called? Havarti. Havarti. I'm kind of bougie. I'm kind of I'm kind of a princess. Cheese. It's a good cheese. Yeah, it's a good I, I like a I like a feta. I like a queso mm -hmm. fresco, like and I like I a parmesan. Like I like a craft. I like a. I like ricotta too. Ricotta. Oh, ricotta's good. Ricotta's good. Yeah. I like a I like American cheese in a burger, or craft. cheese on a dip, or a no, fucking yeah. beaker's beaker's cheese. Beaker's? Na nacho cheese. Like nacho cheese. Guy. What about a brie? You guys like a brie? Oh, mozzarella is always good. I like a brie cheese. A brie cheese is nice. I like a brie cheese. You ever I like had? Uh, you ever had those burgers where they inject the cheese into the patty? Oh, I have. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh, I've never had that. Pretty good. I like the Mexican cheese mix that you could get at Ralph's. Love yep. that. Oh, cotija cheese on like corn. Cotija cheese, bro. Ooh. Slept on. Them. Yeah. Nice Dude, nacho cheese. cheese at any fucking sports game. Yeah. 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 Go me. fuck yourself. Give me. With so really good, good jalapenos though. They mm. gotta have some really spicy jalapenos. Pimento with cheese. Pimento yeah. cheese, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's like a little peppery. Oh, it's nice. What was I that think. dude's name in fucking a goofy movie? The Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz. That's what it's called. Yeah. Cheese Whiz. Probably sure. Yeah, that's probably sure. Whiz the juice. His name's Cheese Whiz. Uh, so yeah, dude, Parmigiano Reggiano's from Italy. Okay, Kraft Parmesan cheese is not from Italy. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of casual Parmesan New York City <laughs> cheese fraud is a serious issue for producers. Because they actually have a code that they put into the rind of the Parmigiano Reggiano, Reggiano. where they they ha they can tell which one's real with the, this little chip. Oh, it's like an NFT. It's like an NFT. Where were these? An people NFTs. When, where were these people when everybody's selling fake Kobe beef everywhere? We could have used that certification. Yeah. I agree, but it's harder to it's hard it was harder to um, probably to put it into something to go with the beef. Maybe, but I don't even know. Yeah. I'm literally just making it up. Because I think, from my understanding, Parmesan Reggiano is like, there's like a really distinct smell. It smells smell. like, really? it smells like feet. It, it like, it actually stinks. But then Ooh, like, my favorite. regular Parmesan you get from like Kraft, it doesn't have that smell at all. And the, the taste is different too. Because mm. I have two in my fridge. I have two, both kinds. You have the good shit, huh? But it's from Cher Joe's though. Oh, so it's probably oh. the fake shit. Parmesan Reggiano from Cher Joe's. Oh, I see. We're and then Kraft Parmesan, just Parmesan. I like that one. That one's good. I'm trash. That's probably what we're used to as Americans. Because we put that on the pizza. I put it on the skeddies. Oh, the little foil, like green yep. Pringles yeah, 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 yeah. can yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's fire. Let's get uh, down to the, to the real meat of this. Okay. Would NFTs solve being able to identify the legitimacy of cheese? The cheese yeah. blockchain. Yeah, sure. That's what VeChain should have done. That's, I know. Jeez. Did you hear they just announced this thing with the fucking UFC? Like anyone gives a shit right Wait, now. what do they do with the UFC? The UFC is like the, the official block, um, blockchain sponsor of VeChain, but it's like, dude, what the fuck are you guys yeah, doing? Shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah. They're with crypto.com though. For two decades, it's true. For two decades. Um, Parmesan Reggiano wheels, they use this new unique alphanumeric tracking code, but now they're using this P chip microtransponder into the label. So that way they're able to tell which one is part of which one. Do you know how much like one of those wheels would cost? They're expensive, no? Huh? I don't know. But the coolest part about this is the P chip is a blockchain crypto anchor that creates a digital twin for physical items. There you go. So this scannable tag is smaller than a grain of salt and highly durable, delivering next generation visibility and traceability. But what if they salt? lose it? Yeah, yeah what if someone they'll never on find it? it? That means it, it's literally an NFT. It is. Oh shit. Yeah. Wow, okay. So If it's that small, how are they gonna know where to scan? They know where it is. They know where it is. This arrow is pointing to it. It's over here. It's too small for the scanner. And they're like, oh fuck. Why did we why did we why did we put this in every one? <laughs> what if you ate it? <laughs> yeah, what if you ate it? It's like smaller than a grain of salt. Damn. I think you could. I think you could eat it. And um, then you're gonna be a part of the NFT. Dang. Damn, we're I the am, NFT. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by integrating P chip microtransponders into these tags, they can they can have better control of their inventory, product, origin. And they can differentiate their product against the look and sound like brands that are often faked. Do they successful? Do they tell you how they fake it? 
Oh, yeah, they, they make a similar cheese with a similar method, but it's not the one from the Parmesan Le like, like fake Le Nikes. Regular it's like, it's just, yeah. they, it's a Italy. cheese factory, oh, so the but then they put like a fake label. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this like counterfeit real. wine. This is the real shit from Italy that we're talking about, like the one that- So people are doing like, busted up like white label cheese? Yeah. And just calling it something that's not full. Oh, so it's not from that place, from that place. In so Italy. Parmesan Reggiano is like a brand. It's not necessarily oh, oh, type oh. of cheese. Oh, it's like calling uh, something uh, cognac, which is, means uh, it's almost like a, another whiskey or whatever, but because it's from cognac, France, it's allowed to be called exactly. cognac. Exactly, exactly. Oh, because it's from the, this it's from this part of Italy, right? Um, they say it's one of the world's oldest and famous cheeses. It's a product that symbolizes Italian photos. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the president of the Parmigiano Reggiano Consortium. That makes sense. And they said, yeah. since the establishment of their consortium in 1934, they've worked to convey the value of their product globally and distinguish it from similar sounding products on the market that do not meet our strict requirements for production and area of origin. That specifically is what's tied to this. Oh. Are other Italians behind the counterfeit stuff? It must be the mafia. Or is it Asians? <laughs> oh, it no, it's, it's for yeah. sure like a like a, a Kendall Jenner, some influencer who's just making cheese on the side, you know what I mean? Or is it kind of like what happened with olive oil, remember that? Yeah. There's an olive oil oh. fake Dude, that shit, that shit they, made, they made counterfeit too. olive oil for so long mm -hmm. that people's palates adjusted more to that and now they prefer fake olive oil. Because if you look at certain olive yeah. oil, like you look at the actual ingredients, like a lot of the times it's a mixture of different yeah. oils, like palm Wait, oil about, or vegetable about the, oil. Or they lie, because the it's supposed to be pure olive, olive oil, oil? Yeah. but then like they mix it. Cold Maybe. pressed or some shit. The green glass bottle is olive oil. Is real olive oil? It's supposed to be. <laughs> I just found out about this two seconds ago. That's Jameson. No, but some of them say only olive oil, but they fucking lie because they came from a fake place. Yeah. And then they just mix that shit. It's but I get like, it, but I mean the culture is so like every, like well not every, but like, the cheese is so it's a thing. Popular, you know what yeah. I mean? That like I, I can I get it um, in terms of like regions having a specification in order to almost denote both quality and like the authenticity of where it's from, right? It's like yeah. whiskey without an E. It's like oh that's Scotland or champagne from Champagne. Uh, what the fuck it is? Yeah, Italy, yeah. Italy, yeah. France. Or, or can just well, only, shirts only from bourbon. Teespring. <laughs> only bourbon. Shut up. <laughs> only bourbon comes from fucking uh, Kentucky, right? Although if it's not made in Kentucky, you don't get to call. What it is bourbon. it called then? Whiskey? It's just it's whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. What about Captain Morgan? That's rum, right? That's rum. Dude, you can get some, <laughs> you can get some fire Kinja's jackets on Teespring. Damn. I can't wait for the fucking cargos to come out. Dude, dude Redbubble, the best Kinja oh, shirts. Redbubble. <laughs> Designs you've never seen. Dude, shipping's free. <laughs> Teespring's cool. Did they ever did they ever handle that the counterfeit Kinja shit? By the way, it's always uh, it, it's every year every every quarter you got to find another one and then yeah. That's what happens with things in demand, right? Yeah. <laughs> Supply and demand. Okay. Yes, it's just like Kinja's on Teespring, guys. Yes. <laughs> Mm. It's really hard to tell the quality from the two though, you know what I mean? On T-String, I feel like the logo is like not centered. <laughs> what do they do? Just take your logo and then reprint it do they on just, the Teespring shit? They just make like, whole other random shit. Or do they actually design it Kinja's? They'll take like a Kinja's, like, Kinja's tiger and, and word yeah. logo and then put it on like a hoodie, but then they'll like blow it up so the JPEG's not even like <laughs> super crisp. It's so it's like 8-bit JPEG yeah. shit. It's yeah. fucking, it's kind of retro. Who's that. doing it? If I knew, Joe. <laughs> Who's doing I want to find them. Probably like and Charles or something. <laughs> <laughs> if it was someone in Kinja's, that would be Probably DJ's. Dude. Trying to make money on the side, dude. Would you, would you be pissed if it was someone from your own crew doing it? Oh, it depends on who it is. Wait, who designed it's... it? Did John, John Shi? If it's, uh, yeah, John Shi. What if it was Lawrence? Lawrence Cow? Yeah. <laughs> I'll crack up. I'll fucking crack up. I don't even know how to be mad at that guy. <laughs> it was Lawrence doing that shit. Oh shit. <laughs> that will put on his his suit because he's going to work. <laughs> yeah. And then he fucking has his suit on, and then he's fucking selling Kinja's merch on Teespring. <laughs> I would be I would be so impressed. Damn, dude. Fucking I think Lawrence. you should look into it. I think it is Lawrence. Dude, I, I, I just found know. I just found this on I just found this on Alibaba. Oh my Do you god. Have, no, it's oh, lined yeah. with like. Yo, that's Ooh. better than Ooh. your shit. <laughs> that shit looks like it'll keep me warm, that's yo. Fleece, bro. That's nice. that's <laughs> fleece. It's a quality garment. I like their logo too on there. You can yeah, dance in the winter perfect. time. Yeah. Summer's coming out, dude. Just buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys even have that jacket? Fuck no. <laughs> you don't like it? Yo, but that's just like snuggy material, though. <laughs> yeah. That's good shit, man. I'm getting one for me, I'm getting one for my wife. <laughs> <That's just so laughs>
That's so nutty. Not fucking Mr. Nicky Limo Green. Dude. Hey, she'll wear it at the, at the poker tour to get some eyeballs on that fucking store. You know? Yeah, the, yeah. The and it's just a tag. It's like Alibaba. <laughs> I feel, like either, I feel like either way yeah. you, you would win if somebody wore a fake Kinjas thing because then they'd be like, oh, would you get that, you know? Yeah, but there's a better win where the money went into our account, too. <laughs> oh, Significantly better win, guys. Dude, you, know what, you, know. you know what's really crazy is uh, we were in Belgium for LMFAO concert and then outside they were selling all this fake merch and then uh, Fu was like, uh, they tried to get the guys to leave. like, But then um, the police said, no, it's better that we don't like fuck with them because the people that usually sell counterfeit merch outside of uh, concerts in countries like that are usually the local mob. And so the, and cops, the cops are scared of yeah, them. Yeah, they were they were like it's better you don't. Well, they said because if you do that, then they'll try to do, they'll try to ruin the concert somehow. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, they could like start oh. a fire or they could do like something to just cause a bigger problem. So Fu bought all the merch. He just bought them out. He said, "All right, I'll just buy everything." Whoa. That's some and he big bought, dick move. He dude. bought all the fake merch so that the the uh, the concert goers wouldn't have fake merch. That's wow. good. That's good. Oh, dude, why didn't he buy it all and this then one, sell this, it for a little bit more? <laughs> just, this is in the Kinja story. This is not that good. This is not that good. That's a Kinja's jacket. Yeah, it's from the Kinja's back. It's back. It's just hey, K I'd for rather, cow. See, it's rather, Lawrence. I'd rather go to the to the Alibaba for sure. Yeah. There's no lining there. It doesn't look like it's warm. The cold is gonna penetrate right through it. That sucks. What the fuck? From the Kinja's website right there. What's the That's bad? not a good quality.